If these trees could talk, they could tell you a tale of a house that stood here three centuries ago. A house as grand as any to be found anywhere on the continent, then or now. And the birds might tell you what happened here those many years ago, events so profound they changed the course of our nation's history. Its builder lies here, a man named John Custis. He was Martha Washington's great-grandfather and therefore the great-grandfather-in-law of our nation. You could also call him the man who set the American Revolution back 100 years. The first part of this story is the answer to a question. Why did they call this God's country? Well, looking across the tidewater in the evening light, it's easy to imagine how people from crowded, noisy, smelly Europe might mistake this place for heaven. And they came to heaven in droves. By 1676, there were enough people in Virginia to have a governor, a legislature, and a chapter in our history called Bacon's Rebellion. The governor, a fellow named Berkeley, skedaddled out of town for a while and holed up here at Arlington on the eastern shore of Virginia. Fortunately for him, Nathaniel Bacon, who led the rebellion, died of lousy disease before things got out of hand, allowing the governor to scoot back and hang all the traitors without so much as a how do you do. Now, some historians say that Bacon was really just a rapscallion who wanted to murder the Indians, take their lands, and stop paying taxes to England. The Declaration of Independence, written a century later, enabled its signatories to do the same thing, but with their honor intact. It's amazing what a little piece of paper can do for you. All that remains today of Arlington are the graves of John Custis and his grandson, John Custis, nestled in a tiny graveyard along the bayside. Now, I wouldn't say I believe in ghosts, but I do believe you can sense something from the spirit of a place. Not just here, but all over Delmarva, there are echoes of the footsteps of those who have gone before. Some deeds outlive those who do them, but not many. The rest are remembered only by the whispers of the wind in the trees.